Greetings Mech Warriors, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the second mech that was released today as part of the Intersphere Resistance Pack. This is the Enforcer. It is a medium mech uh, coming in at 50 tons, which uh, to me seems like it's a nice midline mech, a little bit lighter than the Centurion, and you know, obviously heavier than, say, a Cicada. So. I think that'll help out some folks uh, in community warfare. Uh, anyway, <coughs> taking a look at the enforcer, it uh, doesn't look stupid. Um, not sure about the head, but it, it does still all seem to fit. Uh, again, with this, you got the uh, default uh, color scheme for the resistance, uh, which I really do like, especially with this uh, battle damage that's already included. To me, it just adds a nice touch. Uh, this mech does not have the unique geometry implemented yet. That will be coming. Uh, PGI was having some difficulties getting this, uh, get, getting that out, and I, I don't fault the decision. I'm, I'd rather have the mechs. Uh, but that's just my personal opinion. So there you have it. Uh, for a medium mech, this guy. Uh, by default, he goes at a good clip, 81 kph, and he's got a nice set of jump jets too. So, let's see, comes with an LB-10X, which is which is a nice uh, heavy hitter for jump. Yeah, total of four jump jets, two tons of ammo, large and small laser, uh, with an XL-250 engine. And you know, I you know I actually don't fault the 250 engine. That uh, has this very very compact uh, torso so I, I could see that being very Excel engine friendly uh, you might want to move some armor points around so you get max armor on the torso and legs but outside of that that seems pretty good right out the gate <clears throat> nice touch that they included case um, personally I don't care for it but I, I can see why people might find it useful um, <clears throat> So, so, yeah, this guy, yeah, he looks pretty good. Uh, let's see what type of quirks he's got. Oh, this is new. I haven't seen a mech that strongly favors the LB, the LBX uh, auto cannon yet. So, that's that's pretty nice, especially with the uh, cooldown. And it also has uh, some good laser favoritism too. So that'll be nice. But. Uh, <clears throat> so there you have the uh, 5D. Take a look at the Enforcer 5P. Yeah, he's about the same. Uh, look, he has two UAC 5s right there on this. So, uh, yep, two UAC 5s, a ton each. Not as many jump jets, but and I don't think that necessarily matters. Yeah, I mean think you might think uh, someone might want to throw on a Beagle Active Probe and obviously upgrade to double heat sinks and I think this is a pretty solid build as it is. Again, you might want to make some changes to even out the armor, but yeah, it's the 5P looks pretty decent starting out. And obviously the uh, <coughs> The quirks favor the default loadout, which is, which I find very interesting in comparison to many of the other uh, mechs. That they don't, they don't, they have quirks that do not favor the default loadout. So that's the 5P, and now we have the 4R. Well, from the looks of it, it looks very similar to the 5D. It has a standard 200 engine, so it's nowhere near as fast. It carries an AC-10 with a ton of ammo. And lasers. And again, you know, muck around with the armor and uh, add a big lactic probe. Obviously, you want double heat sinks. If you need more tonnage, you know, obviously go with the, with the uh, endosteel structure. Quirks on this guy. Not as many impressive quirks for the AC-10, but uh, <clears throat> but 
but it does seem to favor lasers quite a bit, especially a large laser, which is which is pretty useful. I mean, you get laser in better range, better cooldown, <coughs> and definitely that that heat generation is always nice. So, yeah, there you have the uh, the Enforcer series, and uh, oh, I want to thank you for taking the time to join me. Uh, hope I this is, find this all useful, and I will see you on the battlefield.